Hey there, I'm Shannon and it has been a minute. I know this is my first video of 2017 and I'm late as fuck, but I have an explanation. I actually have two explanations. One is that when 2017 came, the universe decided to fuck me right in the ass and give me the flu. So I woke up, I was trying to make my videos, whatever, and instantly just started puking everywhere all day for like three days straight. It was a catastrophe, I could not recover from it, so I didn't post a video on Saturday, which is when I usually post my videos and there's another reason basically one night me and uh, Jaden I don't know if you know who uh, Jaden whale is but so me and Jaden and our friend Quinn were playing a game called seven days to die on my laptop basically it's a zombie game it's kind of like Minecraft where you build shit and you do stuff this is not sponsored we just actually play this game a lot <laughs> so the zombies started coming which they come like every night in the game but this night like usually like 30 come maybe like you know 50 100 max I would say this time we're sitting there we're on our computers playing and thousands of zombies like they start like spawning out of the ground they come like flying in from the sky like I have no idea what was going on so many zombies came literally there were so many zombies that my computer could not handle it and it died it overheated and melted the inside all of the insides all of the hardware of my computer and it died forever I could not fix it but regardless that is not what I wanted to talk to you guys about I actually have someone that I want to introduce you guys to come here hey Wake up. Yeah, you. Come here. Come here, come here. This is my new puppy, Scooby. Scooby, say hi. Say hi to the camera, your new friends and family. Oh, I don't know why, but he does not like looking at the camera. He does not like sitting with me when I'm filming. I've tried to film this video like three times and he hates it. He hates me. He hates that I'm a YouTuber. He hates who I am. He just sits here and slumps and then he'll try to get away from me so we don't have much time. But yeah, this is my puppy Scooby. I got him about a week ago and I am literally in love with him. He is only 10 weeks old and he's a fucking giant. This dog is going to be huge and I'm so excited because I love big dogs. Isn't that right? You're gonna be a giant. Ooh. But yeah, his name is Scooby or Scooby-Doo or Scooby-Doo, depending on if he's shitting on the floor or not. <laughs> but I named him Scooby because when I was a little kid, Scooby-Doo was like my life. I thought Scooby-Doo was my real dog. He was my best friend, even though he was just a cartoon character. That's really depressing, but um, I had a Scooby-Doo room, like my wallpaper was Scooby-Doo, my bed was Scooby-Doo, I had a rug that was Scooby-Doo, I had a five foot cardboard cutout of Scooby-Doo, and it was literally such a horrible obsession that my little sister, who's three years younger than me, her first sentence ever in her life was, where are you? I don't know if you know this, but the catchphrase of the show Scooby-Doo is Scooby-Doo, where are you? And so I literally was so obsessed with this TV show that Bailey's first words were, where are you? And ironically, Bailey was actually the one who told me to name Scooby Scooby because she said, and I quote, you need a Scooby in your life, which is basically, she's trying to say you have no friends, you don't have a boyfriend, you don't have anything going for you, you need a dog that's gonna be your best friend. And I was like, you know what girl, you are right. Scooby is seriously like the sweetest little dog. I got him, I adopted him from a shelter. I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask that question, but yes, I did adopt him from a shelter. And his story is actually really kind of sad because they found him in a field when he was a baby which was only like 10 weeks ago, which is crazy to think about, but they found him in, oh, he wants to go back to the field apparently. He does not want to be a YouTuber anymore. But yeah, they found him in a field and then they brought him to a shelter where they couldn't adopt him out because he was too young. So they were gonna euthanize him at this first shelter he was at. And thank God the shelter across the street took him in from the other shelter. So he was moved from a kill shelter to no kill shelter. And then the craziest thing is that he was at this no kill shelter for 15 days and no one adopted him which I mean is a blessing because he's mine now but how could anyone say no to this little face she's so cute I know you don't want to look in the camera but please 
Please, he looks so sad, I promise you. He's not sad. He's happy off camera. I swear to God, this dog knows he is on camera because he looks depressed as fuck when the camera comes on. When I try to take pictures of him, he looks sad as hell. In real life, he is the happiest looking dog. He like is one of those dogs that smiles. Like he opens his mouth and it looks like a smile. I know a lot of you guys know that I'm mostly a cat person and I have two cats right now, um, <laughs> which has been interesting to say the least but i got him because cats like okay cats you do not need to really take care of cats you give them food water and then their box and they are set for the rest of their life but dogs you actually have to take care of you have to take them out all the time and i wanted a puppy like literally for that reason i have a lot of issues to say the least but um, i wanted i wanted a puppy so i had a reason to like get up in the morning that couldn't have been any more depressing sounding fun. <laughs> um, but I wanted a puppy to make, not as, not in a sad way, I guess kind of in a sad way, but like, I really have nothing to do sometimes as a YouTuber. Oh, you on the move, boy. I really have nothing to do as a YouTuber sometimes. Like, I spend my whole day inside. I wanted, I wanted a puppy because I want to have to get up and go take him for a walk. He is slumping like no other. I wanted to have to take him for a walk and have someone to exercise with and someone to grow up with because he's a little baby and I wanted to raise him. I don't know how closely you guys follow like my Instagram and my Twitter. Please follow me. That's where I derive my self-worth from. But on my Instagram and Twitter a long time ago, a couple months ago, I was, I posted something about looking into getting a service dog and unfortunately that just didn't work out. But um, for my issues, all my issues, <laughs> that didn't work out. And so I waited a couple months and uh, I went back into the search, the pursuit for a puppy and I found Scooby and Scooby literally is the most mild mannered, like he is perfect. Like he is like a trained dog already and he's only 10 weeks old. I don't know how I got so lucky. So maybe one day I might take him in to be trained as a service dog, a psychiatric service dog for all my issues, like I said. But in the meantime, literally just having him brings me so much joy. Like I have someone to cuddle with now. I have someone to tell all my stories to, besides you guys. I have someone just to hang out with all the time. So I'm not, you know, it's a dog, but still I'm not alone. <laughs> I don't know. Just getting Scooby was literally like one of the best things I've ever done. And I am so excited to finally get to introduce you guys. I've had him for like a week and I've been trying to make this video like I said, but he has not wanted to sit still until now apparently. Thank you, buddy. You would be, oh, oh, no, don't leave. Not yet, you were being so good. I was just complimenting you on your goodness. Yeah, my goodness. But I was so stoked to introduce you guys because he's gonna be a huge part of my life and I'm gonna spam him on all of my social media, on my Snapchat. All that also I need self-worth there too. But um, yeah, I hope you guys love Scooby as much as I do because he is a sweet little baby and you're gonna be seeing him a lot more. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy Scooby and think he's adorable. If you have any pets, leave me a comment in the comment section below like what type of pets you have and I'll read the comments to Scooby and he'll love it, he'll enjoy it. It'll be his favorite thing, it'll be my favorite thing. <laughs> and I'll even try to respond to as many as I can when this video goes up. Thank you to all of you who hit the like button. Thank you to all of you who are new who hit the subscribe button and the little bell button, whatever the fuck that is. I love you guys so much. Stay pretty kitties and I will see you in my next video. Bye! If you can love me all